yesterday the province reversed a decision to keep the disease databases secret and they decided to release them. And so today I can tell you that the virus that is suspected to be killing and weakening the majority of the Fraser sockeye, the symptoms of that virus are also in the salmon farms on the Fraser sockeye migration route. All of this started, the sockeye started dying in the river full of eggs in 1992 when the salmon farms first appeared in the Discovery Islands, the narrow passages off Campbell River where these sockeye run. So many sockeye have been dying before they spawn, the DFO realized they couldn't just do a test set in Johnson Straits and figure out how many fish the fishermen would be allowed to catch. They had to find out how many were going to be dying before they had spawned. And Dr. Miller found out that it's a virus. It is very, very, very similar to the virus that has been in the salmon farms. And when she found that out, they said she couldn't talk to the public. She was guarded by people when she came to the commission, large men with earpieces on either side of her. We weren't allowed to talk to her. Her funding has been cut. She's not allowed to work on sockeye anymore. And unless people like you press for the truth and for these fish farms to be removed out of the narrow passages of the Discovery Islands, the wild salmon narrows, some people call them, we will lose our sockeye. One third of all of British Columbia salmon go through those narrow passages. Mm -hmm. And so they have to be told that we need to protect these fish. But they can't be told by me. All I can do is drag this thing out, fighting and kicking into the daylight, and then somebody else has to come in here and say, enough. These farms have got to get out. There's a better way of doing these things. We can find jobs for the people in the industry, but we can't let these fish go down because they are our bloodstream. They are feeding us. They go out to the open ocean and they're bringing food back to us. They are so generous. We would be foolish beyond repair to not take a stand right now. So thank you all for coming. part of me and a part of you. It's a part of our future generation. That is our legacy that we have been past the responsibility and the duties to protect our way of life and our wild salmon. Our wild grizzly that also feeds on the wild salmon. And the government and industry continue to impact our way of life, our water, and our wild salmon. We put a greater value on healthy, abundant wild salmon stocks than we do on Norwegian companies' profit margins for their shareholders. <laughs> when I think of the long history that our people have in the Broughton Archipelago, it is time immemorial. It is a territory and resources that the Creator has put forth for our people to enjoy so that we can develop the world that we know in the way that we want it to be. Not by some company's decisions to come in and pollute at their will. Industry will have one attachment to our territory and that's based on profit. And the minute that it's unprofitable, they will be gone. And our people will still be there. Our people will still be relying on the the resources that we know are there to sustain our people. We know firsthand the impact that this industry is having. We know firsthand the denial that the government of Canada continues to perpetuate to prop up and support an industry that just makes absolutely no sense at all. The Cohen Commission is underway, and I'm not holding my breath. When I listen to the contradictions and I hear the experts give half answers and cover their butts, it tells me that they're not going to be doing much in terms of affecting change. This underlines the fact that each and every one of us must stand up and make that change happen. You must affect that change with your voice, with your letters, with your emails. You must organize your families and get them to express how they feel. Ask them, do you, do you appreciate wild salmon? Simple as that. 
and then we can start messaging in large numbers to the government where they cannot ignore us. Quit buying the rhetoric from industry because they have a well-practiced script. This is about social justice. This is about environmental justice. This is about the ugly economics of the, the industrialized fish farm industry, one of the worst toxic industries that exists in the province of British Columbia next to mining. And we know, we know in our hearts that what hangs in the balance is the very survival of the wild salmon stocks in BC. What do you want? What do you want? Wild salmon! What do you want? Wild salmon! Wild salmon! Wild salmon forever! Wild salmon!